Hey, what's up guys, back for another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install MUDEC. It's gonna be a quick tutorial, nothing too specific. I'm not gonna show you where you can get these games, but I am gonna show you how to install the emulators like Simu, Dolphin, Citra. So at the end of this video, your profile should have these emulators on your non-Steam profile. The games, if you already have games installed onto an SD card, then it will show up just like this. If you want your games to look like this, the first thing we're gonna need to do is head over to desktop mode. All right, once you're on desktop mode, you're gonna wanna head over to your browser. My choice is Google Chrome. And from there, you're gonna wanna input MU Deck. I am gonna have the link below on MU Deck, so you can just go quick right away. Once you are here, you're gonna wanna click the download button. And from the download button, you're gonna wanna get Steam OS. Click okay. Once it's downloading, you wanna head over to your documents or wherever you have the download folder. From there, you wanna double click Imudic, execute, continue. So once it's done, it'll set everything up for you. I will not be showing you where to get the games. A quick Google search should help you, but you can either choose easy mode or custom. If you don't want to customize it, just go easy. It'll set everything for you. Pref configure all of the emulations, whether it is the PlayStation 2, uh, Dolphin, GameCube, Wii, whatever the case is. But I like doing custom. You don't have to, but this is what I'm going to do. And then I like storing my games onto my SD. So you click the SD, you go next, and then we have the Steam Deck. So you click the Steam Deck. And then right here, you choose the emulations or the emulators that you want. Only choose the ones you're actually gonna use. In my case, I do use RetroArch, Dolphin, Prime Hack, when I wanna play Metro Prime. The PPS, SPP is the PlayStation Portable. You got PlayStation 1, the Duck Station, Melon DS is the DDS, or Nintendo DS, sorry. Citra is Nintendo 3DS. You got the PS2, PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 struggles to run on the Steam Deck. I've yet to get a game running on it. And then you got Yuzu. Yuzu is a completely different set of process. You're gonna need to download the firmware along with the product keys and that's gonna take some digging to get into. But I'm not gonna show you how to get that up and running. You can Google it. And then as far as X Simu is Xbox, I believe I said that right. Simu is the Wii U. Emulation, emulation Station pretty much puts all your emul emulators in one uh, library. So it makes it easier to access it. And then you got the Vita. So I'm gonna remove Scum, Xbox, PS3, because I don't need those. I'm not gonna download any games. I'm gonna remove Duck Station. Remember, PlayStation 1. And let's keep all this. Uh, MGBA. We're keeping MGBA. Okay, we go to continue. In configuration, so it'll do everything for you. So you click continue again. So this is if you wanna have autosave. I know it works for this. this is right here, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, the Super Nintendo. So I like having this on, so it'll do an autosave at when you quit the game, so let's keep that on. You are gonna need a RetroArch password, so you enter your username and password. I have one, so with this, it'll allow you get achievements and old titles, which actually makes it really cool because it feels like you're playing a new game at the same time as an old game. So like I said, you sign up, you log in, every time you do this, do that later, I'm gonna skip for now. And then from here, you configure the bezels. So whether you want the side bezels on, you can have them on or off. Let's keep it on, takes up the black space. No one likes that. Leave that on. And then do you want the screen, the screen stretched out, three by two or four by three? I like three by two, me personally. And then from there, same thing. This is for the Super Nintendo, four by three, three by twos. I'll do three by two. And then one thing to know about the 16 by nine on this is that certain games will have like a glitch or 
on the outside bezels right here this part right here will show kind of blurriness once you turn the camera i don't like that so i'll keep it four by three same thing for the gamecube you it'll cover the whole screen but like i said if you're playing wind waker the blue waves right here the water will get blurry so i'll keep it four by three my choice you can do whatever you want and then again do you want to have the shaders make it look like an actual retro tv let's keep that off like it bright same thing off and again for the playstation one let's keep it off these are the different choices you can choose i like modern keep it simple nothing too big so let's keep it a modern and then from there it'll let you know which emulations are going to be installed x means no check means yes let's click finish this might take a while five ten minutes it just depends on how many emulators are you're downloading all right once that's done it's going to give you a green check mark to let you know that everything was successfully installed we want to click add games see what this does is you can actually use a usb drive to transfer your games from that drive onto your steam deck i'm not going to do that today because i normally put my games directly onto my sd card so i'll skip for now and then once you do all that you're greeted to this main menu and if you have any issues whatsoever on your emu deck you can do a quick reset and then follow the exact same rules that'll fix any issues you are having that's the first thing you should do so let's go straight into steam ROM manager click yes i recommend using a mouse for this because once you open it you can only click with the right trigger unless you hold steam plus the trackpad but i'm gonna keep my toggle parcels on mine is gonna look different because i already have games downloaded into my sd card so we're gonna click preview parse and as you can see everything gets added you can change your custom artwork by clicking this as you can see also if you have decky loader i have another video going over how to install it if you have decky loader you can change the artwork directly from your steam gaming mode a lot easier so your your steam ROM manager once you have games downloaded would look like this from there you say save to steam almost done as you can see it's loading up at least 76 titles and again these are downloaded directly onto my sd card so from there we can exit because it said done we click x we get out of emu dick from there you go to return to gaming mode once you're back in gaming mode your steam library should look like this it should be under the non-steam and as you can see, I have my PlayStation 2 game right here, as well as the Game Boys. And then a great thing about Emu Deck is if you go under collection, it'll organize it by titles, by system. As you can see, PlayStation 2, 15 titles, N64, 1, GameCube, 9. So I do love that. I think that's great. And again, guys, like, follow, share, and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll be doing my best to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you again for watching. Peace.
Looks like I win. <laughs> <laughs>